Hey y'all, it's Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafting coming to you from the beautiful North Georgia mountains. It is fall here and the leaves are starting to change. So I have been on fall break and while I was on fall break, I took my B things with me. Um, all things B. So I have done a previous video um, where I had made some B cards out of, and it really, the, I used the card bases that I had bought from Hobby Lobby. Um, where the cards are already printed, they're bee themed, and then I personalized them. So I'm working on Christmas gifts and not just, um, you know, personalizing, embellishing the card bases, but I actually did monogrammed card sets. So I made, I believe, six sets while I was gone, and now I gotta package them. Okay, so I'm going to go through that with you. Now, some of the things I used, just, just to give you a little bit of background, but I'll also tag the video that I previously made. Um, I did use this embossing folder that is the honeycomb. And then I used, whoops, I used this embossing folder that has like bees and flowers on it. And that's really, um, you'll see that whenever it comes to the packaging. I did use some dyes. The main dye I really ended up using though was a new one that I recently got from Timu, and I love this. And before I went on fall break, I cut a lot of these pieces out. So I cut the bee uh, body out of black, the wings out of white, and then this body part out of some different shades of yellow. Really just whatever I had in my scrap pile. I cut all those out and I sat and glued them together. That was one of my projects that I did on fall break. So I made a bunch of bees didn't make enough. I actually used all the ones I made and had to come home and make some more and finish out my last, um, I think I had one more, kind of one more set of cards to make. So I made a lot of these. They're very quick, easy, um, cause I could cut one black, one white, and one yellow at the same time. And then I had the same amount of everything. And then I just went through and it took very little glue, um, to hold these together. I mean, it, it really, really did well. I've got my silicone mat out here. Um, got some glue on it. I did some coloring earlier with some of the flowers, but I loved making these. And this was a Timu dye. It was very, it was not very much at all, but this, and it cuts great. So some of my other B dyes that I have, that are actually name brand dyes, don't cut as well as this one did. So um, I don't know. I may, I may get rid of those other B ones, but I really love this B dye, and I still have. Still have some that are in my stash now. All right, so let me show you my cards that I card sets that I have made. And if you can see, then these are um, the backgrounds are already made. I just did a monogram. I added the monogram, some embellishments. So this is for somebody whose last name is N. And then we're gonna package them together. So, what card do I want on front? Um, let's see. I think I'm going to put this one on front and you'll see why. Now, I kind of forgot that I had to put envelopes with this. Um, so a lot of times, and that'll, that'll come into play in just a second. A lot of times when I package my, um, cards, I will take some coordinating kind of plain paper and I'll do a wide band around it, um, whichever way, but I'm not going to this time, but I did take one of those, um, embossing folders and so my strip of paper that I'm going to use to bind it I did the B um, embossing on and then I'm going to use that and I'm gonna wrap it around and the reason I said that I forgot that I had to put envelopes with it um, this is the landscape length of a piece of paper and it was a little bit too long so I cut it off but when I cut it off I had not put the envelopes with it yet so what what happens when I wrap it it's just a tad too short but you know I'm just going to go with it. I don't think, um, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Just a little piece of tape. This is, you know, it's a little magic tape or whatever. So I think it'll come off fine. You could also use washi tape if you wanted to use washi tape. All right. So I did that. Now, a lot of times too, I will make a, um, a tag, a personalized tag. I'll even, I've got my, um, you have the little metal frames on the tag. This time, I'm, I'm doing this one different, so that's why I'm doing a video. This time, I am using one of my handmade um, embossed pieces. Instead of putting that on the band, I actually did that, and then I punched it out um, with a circle punch. I got a little hole in it, 
and I'm going to tie that on. So these are not going to have, now I could use this also as a name tag, um, but I did not make just a specific name tag. So, Well, you know, I thought I had enough for me to tighten a bow, but I guess not. But that's okay. Now, I just, I chose navy as my um, cord here. I did want something that was kind of going to contrast and stand out. And then I'm just going to cut. Now, a little bow would be cute here, but I, maybe I measured it again before I added the, the envelopes. But there's that one. And like I said, I think I have six of these to make. So... I will just flip through these real quick. I used a daisy punch that I have for for this one. This was a harder one to match. It doesn't have any bees on it. It's a unique color of pink. Um, it does have, have some of the honey come in the background. But I did pull out my daisy punch for this one. But I, I, I love my daisy punch. Again, that's a unique color. So, And you'll see that I kind of got, once I found a, a pattern I liked to work with, um, the design then i would make multiples of that since my band is white these cards are just a little bit off white i don't know that i want to put one of them on the front um maybe i'll just well i don't want know that i want this one on the front because that is the same that i'm going to use to bind it with how about that one all right and then I just have a stack of envelopes. Two, three, four, five, six. I did do six cards in each set. So let's wrap this around. And again, if you don't want to do the tape, well, you should not be short was a little short but using that landscape style you can even wrap it this way and there's still um typically i still have have room to do that all right then i'm going to take me a tag i'm not going to package all of these well let's just see how long it takes to do do two of them i'm having trouble getting them centered and even though I'm tight and all, all I gotta do is just slide it off around over the end but there we go video is we're right at eight minutes now and I have done two of these so let me just run through the other sets of cards you don't have to see, um, you don't have to see me package them all. There's another one. Just gives you an idea. Um, if you'll see in my other video, this is actually, this background here is cut from the box for the cards. Um, that was, that was something I pulled out of my scrap pile. And I think it had a stain. That's why I put the honeycomb over that. That was the only one I, I think I did uh, portrait style to. That's another part of the um, box that it came in. Here's another one of my bee dies that I said I just really don't like. It just doesn't doesn't cut well. So that's three sets. This is the only one I had of this one. I had this left over from um, from something else. So be happy. That's one of the dies that came with that other um, die that I was saying didn't cut good. Be happy. Eh, it just depends. That one has a white bee on it, but I think it looks good with those white flowers. If you'll notice, you've seen one of these art designs already, and maybe one of those already. And let's see, that's a repeat design. This one, another embellishment I found, um, just left over from something else. This was a hard card background, so once I found a design, I kind of kind of kept with it. There's another, that was an embellishment that came from a pack of something that was just odd laying around. 
And the last set. I don't know that any two cards are, are exactly a lot. Just because I was I was working with just, you know, kind of some scraps and whatever I had left. Put my monogram straight on those big bees. Those big bees are really big and it was hard for me to find a way to use them. Um, but this, this was, I don't know, this was kind of plain. I think it worked good with that. And then it's large enough that I could put the monogram right on the bee. That's a repeat, I think. All right. And that one is, that, there was about three, I think, that were not monogrammed. Um, so they're kind of a generic card. But that's six sets of cards, two of them packaged. It'll take me maybe five minutes to package the rest of them. And I am done with my card sets that I've got to make for Christmas. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll try to link my other B video in the comments. Until next time, see you later.